How's my how's my hair? How's my hair? Okay, good. Is it is it terrible? It's it's a little. Okay, good. Okay. Are we good? Cha-cha? Are we recording? Are we rolling? Oh, good. Okay. Nice. Alex, proto pasta. I'm just making sure I'm doing that. Right? Okay. Mr. Here we go. Mr. Nerd. Mr. Yeah. Mr. The Nerd. Mr. Mr. The, the nerd. nerd. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Hello again from Maker Fair. This is Joel, the 3D printing nerd here with Matter Hackers. And I have found, quite possibly, the unicorn. I don't know. I've been looking for this guy forever and I finally get to meet him. This is Alex from Proto Pasta. Hey, Alex. Hey. How's it going? It's good, man. I. Alex and Proto Pasta make wonderful filament, and I always talk about their exotic filaments, which I love dearly. Do you have one of, uh, what, which one's your favorite? Mmm. Well, my favorite is probably one you can't buy. It was our uh, special edition pine filament that we did last Christmas. Oh. Yeah, we actually went painstakingly, painstakingly through the process of drying pine needles, pulverizing them, screening them to get the big particles out, and then folding it into the plastic just to do something special for the holidays. That's, that's, I have some of that still. We're that crazy. Yeah, We're that crazy. <laughs> well, that's, I think that's what fuels your company too because you're not afraid to push the envelope and try to try these different blends of filaments and everything you have is PLA based, is that right? Uh, everything except for our PC ABS alloy. Yeah, mostly PLA based and the reason for that is to give the uh, widest, uh, widest process ability so everyone can use it. Yeah, I, it prints on all of the machines that I've ever used. Uh, what is what is the best way to finish your exotics? Is it is it dependent on the material it's mixed with, or is there a general kind of thing you can do to to make your exotic prints better? Hmm. From a finishing standpoint, yeah. Well, I guess what's interesting about our materials is that is a very individual thing. So if you have an iron uh, composite material, you can do a rusting afterwards, which is one of my favorites, actually. The rusting does look good. I've done that, and that got a very good response. Yeah, yeah. Even Rich Wrap uh, over in the UK, who usually gives people a pretty pretty solid, like, uh, well, he's, he's, he can be kind of, you know, tough on people. I, I, I'm very flattered by his review on the uh, on the magnetic iron. He loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, says a lot about maybe what we're doing. So I think so. Uh, what's what's coming up in the future of Proto Pasta? Do you have anything that you can talk about that's maybe six months, eight months out that that you're working on? Well, um, you know, we're small, experimental, so we're we're always kind of dabbling, thinking about what we want to do. Um, we kind of have always a little bit of a, a, a wider number of things kind of ready and trying to decide like what inspires us. Um, just deciding what to release honestly is is probably one of the bigger challenges because we can only do so much, you know, as a as a small company. So, but we're interested in, uh, I mean, in putting different things in plastic for the most part, right? I mean, that's what we're known for. Well, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you with that soon. I hope. <laughs> I, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. I mean, it sounds. Uh, Sounds like we could do something cool there. I think, okay, I won't say too much, but we have an idea. I think I think I might be working with Protopasta soon on something cool. We'll we'll let that go. Hey, Alex, thank you very very much. Let's 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 end this with, properly with a with a high five. Oh.